Mangi. Come here, Mangi. They better not touch that score. I'm not gonna let them do it. That's right, I'm the Night Mutilator. Mutilator? Hi! I'm the Night Mutilator. And I'm here to play video games for some reason. Well, the main reason being high scores, because why would the Night Mutilator play anything without there being that? So, you know, we really put our minds together, and when we say we, I mean in me, me, and then the other me inside of me. And we all got together. We're like, what are two things that people are totally partying down with Having a nice time, just having, loving, you know, loving it. And uh, as we put our minds together and really formed a, a business plan, uh, we realized that the two things that people like the most are Kid and Dracula. So, tonight, I proudly present to you Without further ado, Kid Dracula, your favorite new game. And there it is. There's the intro that you've been waiting for. So I know you're wondering what kind of scary game can the Night Mutilator play next? <laughs> and this, I mean, this is a darn tootin' good uh, selection, really. I mean, it's fun. It covers off on liking Kid and Dracula at the same time. Look at this intro. Insane. Cool. Whatever the hell that thing is. So you just got out of there. And then there's these guys. I've never played this, okay? So this is a first first playthrough. You know, I'm a big Castlevania fan, and this is the weird Castlevania for kids game they made. So it's kind of looks like it a little bit. Oh, I can shoot up. Makes it way easier. That guy just ran into me. What's that guy doing? Oh. Like, oh, we're gonna make a kid-friendly version of Castlevania. Here it is. Super kid-friendly. Definitely brings about a pretty kind smile. And it just still is a scary game. So it's kind of like a mixture of all that. Fun, entertainment, intrigue, romance, fun, again. And then at the end, it's just a scary game. And that's all that matters. And I want you to write that down. And I don't care. Where is all the hidden power-ups? There's always hidden stuff. This is when they thought that, like, Castlevania might be too scary for kids. Like... Oh, we better make a toned-down version. This is fun! What do you guys think? Write it down in the comments. Write it down on your hand. I killed that guy. Let me pause it for a second. I just want to get... That's a cool pause spot. And I just want to mobile... Just get on the mobile. You know? Just see what's happening. See what's who... What kind of engagement. What kind of numbers we're talking about. I mean, we're talking about... Anywhere from 1 
to two or three people at any given moment could be in this very environment. And uh, I don't know. It seems fun. So let's keep going. I want to see how far we can get in a half hour. That's really always the key. It's not can I beat this game, but can I hit my half hour uh, power block? Because if I can, then I'm a TV boy. And TV Boys and Girls Club America seems cool. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get over here. We're just trying to beat this level. It's very hard so far. It only flickers all the time, so it's not like a big deal. It's just always doing it. That was a puzzle. Can you get down there? Oh, that thing just spun around like it was on its own. There's gotta be something down here. No? There's no secrets? What is this? What game is this? So I don't know if you guys like having fun or you are into things. If you are, um, I just want to invite you to having fun with me live, in person, out of control, um, by just subscribing, you know, wherever you are, wherever this is being played on right now at this very given moment, I want you to subscribe to it, and I want you to be a badass, and why did I do the same thing again? Oh my god, this is insane difficulty. Okay, here we go. So if you guys are there, uh, get your clothes off. Um, we're going to be playing this game, I guess, for kids. Um, oh my gosh. What? Don't do that. Why would he bounce back two times? There's a heart. It's flickering too. Oh, you can just walk through here. Got it. What the heck? This is like the end of the first game, but like in preschool level or something. What is that supposed to be? A ghost? Have you ever been haunted by a scary ghost like that? Or like this one? Oh, he's gone. Is there a bigger guy or is that it? That's it. Easy. Homing spell, I guess. How long has it taken so far? This is I'm trying to go for a world record. Eight minutes. What is this? space between two and bring, do you think? To bring? Have you ever said that to somebody? To bring. You knew to bring. I have. I always say that to everybody I've ever met first time. More coins. See you again. Whatever. What's the point in that? What was that? I'm confused. Was I supposed to be doing caring about something? I don't know, what the hell. Oh man, I just fell down there. What a badass. 
So as you can tell, the graphics are very bad. Um, but the nice part about it is that they flicker all the time. So it's like, even though they're bad, at least they're flickering. Because then you know that you really got it going on. Game over. Are you kidding me? I'm continuing that bad boy. Okay, here we go. I'm the Night Mutilator. You guys are freaking me out. I'm trying to play some scary games. And uh, if you have any questions about this game, don't ask me anything because I don't know anything about it. I know that I just sucked at it again. But, uh, I'm a little boy. Um, let me press pause on this for a little second. I'm just going to check on something. I'm just trying to have fun. Just trying to get creative. Uh, just having a, just an enjoyable time, really. Not just, not just a waste of it, you know? I mean, it's good to see you guys tonight. I know Slurpee's here to see you. She's here right here. Okay, let me show you her. Oops. This is her. Okay, I don't know why she screamed. She didn't want me to pick her up right that moment, but I did anyways, and now she's looking at me like, why did you pick me up like that? It's okay. Look. This is all your friends are on the TV set. See? Look at her. Can you say her? see her? Do you see her? Let's keep playing this game. This is a wild hoot in holler. Um, I don't know if you have any questions, but look at that. Have you ever seen the melding of a boy... Dracula with a whatever that is chicken thing have you ever had that happen to you and just been so scared that you didn't know where to go next I'm going to the dashboard I just want to make sure you don't have any questions I know a lot of people are going to have a lot of questions about why am I still twitching and uh, what am I trying to get out of this and where, who is your hairstylist? But the only one I can answer is the hairstylist question. And I am uh, styled all by myself. I don't have a stylist, so don't try to do it. Uh, you're never gonna win. Um, but I am a nice little guy, and I do know how to play this game, sort of, but not really that very good. Uh, I just need to get further. I thought this was for children, but this part's a little bit hard. Um, but if you're a completionist in life, and you love you some Castlevania... I died in the exact same way. And you, die, and you love yourself some Castlevania, I would recommend playing this game at least once, and then not playing it again. But, give it a whirl, try it out, it's got a lot of cool flickering going on with the graphics, and it does, you die the same spot almost every time. It's just got that slow motion kind of mechanics. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, if you guys are there, I just want you to give yourself a pat on the back tonight for continuing to watch this crap. Um, I don't know why I'm playing this game. It was kind of a last minute decision just because I knew a lot of children would like Dracula. Um, and I knew you would too. Oh, I got there, finally. Don't knock me off of there. God. Finally. Look at this. I made it. Pat yourselves on the top of your head and call me Wendy. Because we finally made it up into this zone. Which is a scary zone, obviously. Oh my god. I want that. Give me this. Oh my god. You can't get it. It's too hard. Oh, great. Okay, let's just try to get past this. Oh my god. Whew. This rough. This slow motion world stuff. This is a scary game, though, and you can tell just because of the tone of the music itself. 
that's how you'll know if you're watching something scary. Because you'll hear scary- oh my god, and I missed it. I thought he'd float down considering he floats constantly. Oh my god. I don't get it. This is stupid. Give me a break. I can't get there. Oh no, now I'm down here. And I fell into the old country road. They just started me right here again. Oh. This is stupid. They're like, let's make the first level for, like, people that haven't even been born yet. And then, second level, you have to be 20,000 leagues under the sea. Okay, here we go. Here we go, jump. Yep, made it. Don't hit me. Is that the bewitched chick? Come on. Get me up there. So what do you what is your guys' favorite games right now? Are you enjoying this game the most of all the games you've ever seen? Or what would be your top game right now? Besides this. And you can answer in in any language you like. I don't even care anymore. I once again I'm only giving myself a half hour of playing this stupid game. Which is a very good game. It's scary. One of the better games I've seen so far in the last 30 years. Look at that Bewitch girl. You love that show. Look at that. They hit me and then you have to do a double bounce backwards and fall off the stupid cloud. Dracula? Kid Dracula? Come on. No, not be witch lady again. Ugh. This part is definitely worth talking about with your friends. Say, so, remember that one part in Kid Dracula with all the chickens and stuff? And there's like chickens, there's clouds, there's bewitched. And she's dropping on like some potatoes or something on you. Oh my god. Okay, I made it past that part. Jesus. This is ridiculous. Where do I need to get to? Get me out of here. I'm out of this joint. I'm getting out of control. God. Okay. You know how to make it here. No, you don't. It's so easy to just not do that right. I don't understand. Timing is messed up. There we go, finally. Slow motion zone. It's a lot of stuff on the screen at one time, so. Oh! I barely made it. I don't even care about that life thing. Oh no! <laughs> Just for you guys. Let's do it one more time. This time it's not for real. It's phony. Okay, made it. So if you're right here breathing heavy about it. Okay. Okay, get on over here. Nope. Oh, I got that. Nice, dude. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I love that they start you all the way here again. Perfect. <laughs> this is the best game I've ever seen. I like it just because of the flickering graphics, but then on top of that, you get this wonderful gameplay. Look at that. I love it. I mean, I just love that kind of gameplay. So I'm glad you guys are here with me to enjoy it together. Now you know what this game is like. And it's going to be something that you're going to ask for for Christmas this year, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, okay. Alright. Let's do that. Okay. There you go. There it is. Um. So what's fun about gaming is just the overall scary factor of it all. And that's why I play is because I always think that every game is scary besides this one. Is not too scary. Just because the music's a little bit more poppy. 
But uh, I do like it. I do think it is one of the best games I've ever seen. Besides, like, there's really no other game I've ever seen. I've never seen any game. I don't even know game. I don't even know game. who game is. And this game is not something to be talked poorly about. Because this game now is easily the best game that our, that's ever graced our, our floor space. And um, even Slurpee. Come here, Slurpee. Come here. Do you want to say hi to Stonky? Hi. Here she is. She wanted to say hi to Stonky. What do you think, Slurpee? So that's Slurpee. She's an eight-year-old dog. She's not a different animal. And uh, she likes being on the stream as well. And I'm glad that you guys are able to finally hang out with her. Uh, so there you go. So I didn't think that this was going to be the way that Kid Dracula was going to end up. I thought I was going to take him out with my gaming prowess. But uh, he's a jerk. And readies. Okay, let's try it one more time. This time, this one goes out to Kenan. This gameplay. Okay. I see Cashflow is trying to have some fun. Oh my goodness, I just fell down there. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Having fun and just killing these chicken guys. Flying chicken man. Okay, and here comes the witch. Barely made it that time. She dropped and kicked grapefruits on me or something. God dang it. Jeez. So anyways, if you guys have been wetting your appetite wondering what that was like, what that kind of a gameplay was, now you know. Um, now you know what to expect when you buy this game or get it as a gift and what to do with it. Because the first thing I would do with that game, besides throw it away, is give it a 10 out of 10. The perfect game. Graphics are crazy out of control. The sprites flicker like there's no tomorrow. Like there are diamonds in the wind. And uh, I just love the overall aesthetic and genuosity. <laughs> and uh, I love it. I can't get enough of it, really. And Night Mutilator doesn't say that normally, but he does tonight because this is sick. I mean, I can get out of it completely. It's gone now. The game's gone. We never need to watch that again. I know that you were complaining. I know a lot of people put in some reports um, to the authorities, but it's going to be fine, and you'll be fine with it, and I'm glad you were here with me. We had fun. We'll play some more games. I mean, we I have a bunch of other games here. I have Frenzy for ColecoVision. Plays just like a real arcade game. And uh, for The Adventurous, uh, I do have Super Castlevania 4. We could always play that. It's up to you guys. Write it down on the comments. Tell me all about it. Send me a progress report or something. And, uh, let's see. I don't know. There's not much else to say. It's been sick tonight. You guys have been freaking me out hard. And I loved it. I loved every minute of it. And I hope you did, too. And I really hope that you really take this for granted. <sighs> Just checking to see if you have any last questions before I leave. Because I know a lot of you do. Doesn't seem like anybody's chatted. And that's kind of sad. Because I wanted to do some chatting with you. But it seems like you're a little a little bit on the deep end. And uh, we'll do it next time. 
I swear. But now you know what that game is like. And now you can share that experience. You can enjoy it with your friends. So thanks again. I'm the Night Mutilator. And I've just loved every second of the night. They better not touch that score. I'm not gonna let them do it. That's right. I'm the Night Mutilator. Mutilator?